Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is James. Today I wanted to speak to you all about eye floaters and my experience with eye floaters. I've been wanting to reach out to the YouTube community for some time now. I'm finally getting around to it. So I started an Instagram about a, a year and a half going on to, yeah, about two years ago. And when I did that, I was overwhelmed with the amount of people who were messaging me, commenting on my posts, and just flat out looking for answers. And I was once myself one of those people looking for answers. And I told myself from the very beginning, you know what, I'm gonna do a YouTube video and talk about this sometime soon, one of these days. Of course, procrastination got the best of me. And so, three years later of having eye floaters, I'm finally doing a video. Um, I've seen some other videos on here and they're awesome. I'm glad there's a lot of you out there reaching out and, and finding the, the community of people who also have eye floaters. This is something that I believe is very serious and I think that it's something that eye doctors do not take serious. And so I want to raise awareness when it comes to eye floaters and I want to look for solutions and figure out ways to help cope with it. I wanted to tell you a little background of when my eye floaters first started. It was about three years ago, going on three years, and I was on a drive from Las Vegas back to San Diego when I seen a little speck like off in the corner of my right eye. Um, I guess it would be right here if you're watching this video. And it was small. I, I shook my head and I thought, you know, maybe it'll just go away. A week goes by, still there. And it, it's bugging me big time. I'm like, all right, what's going on? So I start Googling, probably like all of you also did. And I'm like, what is this? This is something that by the Google, um, all the Google websites, it's telling me that there's nothing that I could do about this. I'm like, no, there's no way. Let me go ahead and go to an eye doctor, see if they can figure this out. I go to an eye doctor, long story short, they tell me that it's normal. They see the eye floaters, but it's normal. There's nothing that I can do, and it eventually go away. Now, if some of you aren't really sure, eye floaters is something that people didn't really get until about like 60, 70, later on in life. And now there's people much younger getting eye floaters. Myself, I'm 31 right now. Um, on, the, on the Instagram, people are like 17 years old getting a hold of me and I'm just blown away. And it makes me wonder what's really going on that's making and causing us to get eye floaters. Um, I got a couple episodes on my podcast where I'm talking about this, but one of my biggest theories is all the technology. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, it has to make sense because our generation is the generation that's flooded with technology. We got iPhones, tablets, TVs, video games, virtual reality, just everything, just right in our face. First thing we do when we wake up in the morning is... So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? And that's one of my biggest theories and it's something that I, I really truly think is one of the causes. However, a lot of eye doctors just continue to tell us that there's nothing we could do. If we like, we can get some kind of laser surgery, which costs a lot of money and may not work. And then also, we can do some kind of vitrectomy. Well, I know what a vitrectomy is, but if you don't know what a vitrectomy is, I'd look into it. It's basically when they put some kind of syringe inside your eye, suck out all the vitreous gel that we have inside of our eye, and refill it with the saline. Basically, when they suck out the, the vitreous gel, um, the floaters that are floating around in your eye, because they float around in the, in the vitreous gel inside your eye. Once they take out the vitreous gel, the floaters basically come along with it. And then I believe they flush it out and then they put the saline in there. Look it up. I'm sure Google probably knows more than I do. Um, I, know, I know as much as I need to know. I know that I'm not going to do it yet. Um, so it's been about three years now. My floaters, they haven't got any better or worse, I'd say. If anything, they've kind of, I could tell that they've moved in my eye. They haven't moved to the bottom. They do say that eventually some floaters go to the bottom and then you won't be able to notice them. But 
it's been three years now and I, and I still have a lot of my eye floaters. But I do kind of see what they mean when they say that some of them do float away. If, it feels like some of my floaters that I had kind of like came closer to like my vision. Like let's say this is the eye floater, right? So let's say I, I seen it at kind of a distance at one point. It seems like it just got closer to my vision like this. And most eye floaters are kind of clear. Even if they're darker eye floaters, once they get closer, you can kind of see through it. So I feel like that kind of helped me a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's like gonna help in the long run with the floaters getting closer to my vision, but that's what it seems like. Some of the things that I do to help cope with the eye floaters is I got brand new prescription glasses. Well, they're not new now, but I got them like a year and a half ago or so. That helped me a lot because at nighttime, I was seeing a lot of glowing light around street lights and then the brakes on the back of cars, they were really bright and the glare protection helped me a lot with that. Also in the daytime, what I do is I use shaded prescription glasses. As you can see, they're kind of like aviators, so they're kind of cool. I definitely like them. That's some of the things that I did. You'll see a lot of things on the internet about different solutions or remedies. I've tried a lot of them. I'm not gonna go into like which ones that I've done. Not on this video anyways. But a lot of them just don't work. I'm gonna be honest with you. And you might come across other videos about eye floaters where they're telling you things you could do to cure your eye floaters. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think those people know what the heck they're talking about. I think they're just trying to get views from the, the eye floater community. Just being honest, that's me. Um, I mean, man, I've been looking into it for like three years and I myself was one of those people who were just desperate for an answer, trying to figure out how do I get rid of these eye floaters, man? These things are driving me nuts. I went through a, a, a phase of like depression and I got over it now. Now I don't let the eye floaters take control of my day or prevent me from going outside in the daytime or do simple things like go to the park with my daughter, hang out, have fun. I use my shaded prescription glasses to help me with that. I use a hat to kind of block out some more of the sun. Because if, if you know, I'm sure you probably do now, uh, the floater is nothing more than a piece of skin or a piece of your the, the lining of your eye that's being just like casting a shadow on your retina from the sun when this, the light enters your eye. Anyways, y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I, I did just want to introduce myself, let you know that I am going to be doing some videos and let me know what kind of videos you would like me to do. If you want me to go over some of the products that I use, let me know that as well because I have used like MSM liquid and, and things like that. I've tried going vegan. I went vegan for like six months. That didn't work. If anything, it made me kind of chunky. We'll get into that later. Um, yeah, man, so if you wanna holler at me, please do. Leave comments, uh, like this video if you can, subscribe if you can. Um, I will be more than happy to talk back with you all. Um, man, I, I love talking to you all, and there's times where I, I might get a little busy, and you may not hear from me for like a week. Um, I get busy with work and stuff like that, and sometimes, Getting my mind off the floaters, I, I just can't even think about it. Um, and that's one of the ways of, of coping with the eye floaters too. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Follow the at World of Floaters Instagram. You can find my podcast, World of Floaters, on all of the podcast uh, stations. You can go on Spotify. You can go on Breaker, Google Podcasts, really any of them. They all work. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. and. Leave a comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.